In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the producers and consumers surplus at the equilibrium price. Uh, first, we have to determine the equilibrium price, and to determine the equilibrium price, uh, we will set the demand equation equal to supply equation. Uh, this gives us a, a quadratic equation which we should be able to solve relatively fast. So collecting all the Q's on one side gives us uh, Q squared here and all the numbers on the left will give us 81. So the answer is Q is equal to plus minus or nine, but we have to uh, only keep the positive solution because quantity cannot be negative. So, to find the price, we would have to evaluate the demand or supply curve at 9. So, by the nature of how we found this number, those two outputs should match. So, plugging in 9 into the demand equation will give us um, one of four. We can verify this by plugging in nine into supply equation. So 50 plus 54 is also one of four. So the price is one of four. dollars per tire and the quantity demanded is nine um, thousand tires now to determine the consumers and producers surplus at the equilibrium price we have to set up an integral. So first let's recall what consumer surplus is. So to find the consumer surplus we are uh, going to consider the demand curve and the demand curve looks like this. It's a decreasing curve and the consumer surplus is this area. So this is demand this is Q, this is price, and this is just some point, Q0, P0. So the formula to find consumer surplus is the integral from 0 to Q0 uh, of dQ minus the area of this rectangle, which is P0, Q0. Now, for producer surplus, we would have to consider the supply uh, supply curve and at certain price level the consumer surplus is defined by this area so this area can be found by finding the integral or by actually first finding the area of the rectangle, which is P0, Q0, and then taking away the area under the supply curve, which is uh, from 0 to Q0, integral of SQ dQ. So these are the formulas. All we have to do is just to set up the integrals. So P0 and Q0 we found above, so now we just set up and find the integral. So computer sur surplus will be equal to the integral from 0 to 9. E dq is 131 minus 1 third q squared and dq minus p0 q0. In this case we're looking at everything happening at the equilibrium. So p0 is uh, 104, q0 is 9. So here we have 104 times 9. 
and produces surplus will be equal to 1 of 4 times 9 minus integral from 0 to 9 and this time we put the supply curve which is 50 plus 2 thirds q squared dq and let's find these integrals so antiderivative of the first integral will be 131 q minus 1 ninth q cube evaluated from 0 to 9 minus uh, 936 plugging in 9 gives us 131 times 9 and minus 1 ninth times 9 cube and we have uh, when we evaluate this antiderivative at 0 we'll just get 0 so we just subtract 936 so now we have 131 times 9 that's 1179 minus 9 cube over 9 is 81 minus 936 1179 minus 81 minus 936 is 162 so what are the units here the units here are the units of p times the units of q the units of p are dollars per tire the units of q are uh, tires so the answer is uh, actually thousands of tires so this will be thousands of dollars so the consumer surplus is 162 thousand of dollars now to find the producer surplus now we have to do the same with the different integrals so 1 of 4 times 9 is 936 and now we subtract the antiderivative of the uh, supply function evaluated between 0 and 9 so we have 936 minus uh, 50 times 9 plus 2 ninths 9 q and when we evaluate that at 0 we just get 0 so here we have 936 minus 450 minus 2 times 81 so 936 minus 450 is 486 and 486 minus 2 times 81 is 324 and the units are the same thousands of dollars so this is how we find the producers and consumers surplus at the equilibrium price